Not enough. We're off to the garden centre now. Oh, perfect. I've got my eye on some inflatable snowmen. We are not buying any snowmen. We are replacing Kerry's Not on your tree. belly. What does she have in the back there? Did you see? Alan Jones, Slade, Cliff Richards, and I think they're all ready to play live. We need more lights. That is the saddest thing I've ever seen in my life. That's right, but it keeps flopping over. Just leave it alone now, man. You don't want to mess your hand up again. Who cuts down a Christmas tree? She's got an out of stone, that woman. Well, I might have won the battle, which I hasn't won the war. I've got something in the back of this van that is going to smash her piddling little display into the ground. We can't fit any more lights. We haven't got a spare inch left. Well, I'll just get the snowman, then. Forget the snowman. Forget any more lights. We have got a journalist coming this evening who is expecting a winter wonderland. I have to deliver. But you have delivered, please. Let's just sit back and enjoy it. And let that trailer trash spoil my switch on. Are you out of your mind? We've estimated roughly 5,000 bulbs. And uh, how long did it take you? Well, we haven't totted up the hours exactly, but it was a labour of love. Do you fight it out with the neighbours every year? Uh, uh, thankfully, this is the first time it's ever happened. Yeah, but it's not about the competition. It's about seeing the enchanted looks on the little kiddies' faces when we do the switch on. Isn't that right, Eric? Yes, Valerie, it's all in the kiddies' faces. Hiya. I, uh, I just really wanted to come and let you know that my celebrity guest has arrived and is almost ready for action. What celebrity? Well, why don't you come and see the big switch on and find out? Come on. Oh, you haven't finished interviewing me yet. I think we've got everything we need. Thanks. Well, the switch on's at 5.30, remember? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Testing one, two. Come on. Yeah, shit. Right, guys, are She's you ready? Yes. Oh, come on, I said, are you ready? Yes. I give you the fabulous, the talented, the downright megastar, Lil Miss Sparkle and Jim. Yes. Woo! Yes. Woo! Yes. Listen up, everybody. Come on to the Grinch. The countdown is now. Come and get your mulled wine and your homemade mince pies. Now! Don't listen to her. She's just fuming because she hasn't got anybody famous. Yes. Well, neither has she. Just a little orange charm and a tutu. <laughs> oh, excuse me. What did you say? Good job I don't look like you. <laughs> 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 little Miss Sparkle and Jem, thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to come down here to help us tonight. Could you do us the honours, please? <laughs> oh, Whack them on, will you? You don't need a countdown. I am not going to sink to her level. This is a classy display, not a tacky monstrosity. For heaven's sake. <laughs> Whoa, check that out. <laughs> Whoa, Val's pushed Bart out. Whoa, hang on a minute. We haven't seen the best bit yet. You haven't seen the pièce de la résistance. Wait, you're missing it. What's he supposed to do? Well, it's a snow machine, darling, but it's on the fritz. I bet she's had something to do with this. Oh, forget it. These lights are the business. And who cares if the snow machine's not playing ball? I care, Dan. It's supposed to be magic. Hey, there's only so much magic one else can take. Right? If she keeps breaking stuff, she should get into trouble. Yeah, well, she dares to come down here again, and she will be. Nobody steals my magic and gets away with it. Welcome to Santa's Grotto on Crack. It's a dusty old nativity any day. It's conspicuous consumption gone mad. It doesn't even compare with it's the... It's Christmas! Bold, brash, unapologetic. Get with it, Ash. Someone must have tampered with it. Leave the machine alone. I was only looking. At least I'm going to saw out again. Do you know where I can rent a moody teenager to take her mind off things before she does herself a serious mischief? Oi! Try and 
trashing me tree not enough for you, was it? I was merely admiring your display. No, find something else to wreck, more like. Really, to be honest, there's nothing much here to wreck. Well, I know it was you that's got every snow. I was trying to fix it. We we'll touch that machine again, and I will fix you. It was my idea, and you hijacked it. It's not your fault you can't stand the competition. This isn't competition. This is tat. So what are you even here for, then? She will not be here any longer. Oh. I told you to keep her away from that machine. She wouldn't even let me put my lights on first. She's a menace. <laughs> oh. That was for my tree. Oh, no, you just didn't. Oh, yeah, I just did. Do you know what, Val? You can't dish it out if you can't take it back. What's oh. it? No problem! Valerie! I am going to do you for a soft, yeah? Well, I better make it worth me while. Oh, was that supposed to hurt? Tell her when I get you in the face. Send this! Come on! Apologise! Apologise for my tree. Apologise for the snow. Never! Oh. This is ridiculous! Oh, She threw the first penguin. I know wish I'd thrown it harder. Can we please call a truce? Oh, knock, knock. I uh, just wanted to let you know I've confiscated your snow machine. And why is that, Lake? What, no, Jesus, he enough for you? Actually, it's because someone stole it from the Scouts Christmas bringing by earlier today. And I'm guessing that someone was you. It was a charity thing. Everyone was really disappointed. All right, you can stop leaning on now. It was a fair cop. A 50 quid donation should cover it. You can have fainted, won't you, Vicar? Oh, I'll just give it to her. She always wins with these things. There's 20 quid and Kerry can give you the rest. Thank you. And, uh, don't do it again. Stealing really sticks in God's craw, especially at Christmas. Night. Good night. Well, I think we all know what kind of copper she was. Would have been nice to know I was handling stolen goods. I was going to give her back, Dan. Well, that'll learn you for trying to upstage me. Ryan, I smashed it, man. Hey, hey, nobody won. I won? And even if you did, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Nothing matters, because she wasn't there to see this. You can go over the top as much as you like. Brawl in the streets, scratch each other's eyes out, but it won't bring Amy back. We are not leaving until this is resolved. Right. I know I'm no Geordie teenage mum, but I know what Amy would say about this. She'd tell you not to steal from the scouts, and she'd tell you not to chop Kerry's flaming tree down. Am I wrong? No. Valerie? No. Right. So, shake hands, please. Shake hands before I send Eric for that saw. Sorry about cutting your tree down and emptying the snow machine. So it was you, Kerry. I'm sorry about the penguin. I'm sorry about the reindeer. And if I hear from Amy, I'll tell you. Same here. Thanks. There is something else you should know. I'm going to thrash you next year, just you wait. 